So, Sabaya, question for you. How do you deal with trauma? I don't really know how to. Okay. I kind of just hope that it goes away. And there's a level of humility that has to come in when we talk about mental health and emotions because we're not going to understand everybody and why they feel the way that they do. And that's the hardest thing that I think that's been taken from the black community is our right to feel. There's this stoicism about us and it's like we're not allowed to be upset, not allowed to have depression or anxiety. Our mental health is usually leveraged against us. To really be the basis of the science and laws that existed to enslave us. A lot in our culture think that you can just pray things away. And I, I believe in prayer, no doubt. I also understand that not one miracle in the Bible occurred without the person needing the miracle taking action. I was just wondering, what is healing like for you? Like how, how would you say that you heal? Be kind to yourself whether you're a parent, whether you're a child, and allowing yourself to feel, I think it starts there. Mm -hmm. It's important for us to give ourselves permission to try to find what our words are, <laughs> mm -hmm. to name what's happening. All of these things that we're talking about, we've never talked about before. And that's what's mm -hmm. celebratory about this conversation. Mm -hmm is that now we can be better parents, we can be better grandparents, we can be better aunts and uncles. We can, we can say, wait a minute, they need this conversation right now. You're never really alone. There's somebody out there that loves you or that will love you. You just have to find that person. They'll come around when you need them the most or when they need you the most and y'all will help each other. Having that perspective that it's a journey and it's okay to smile through the journey. Okay, even say that again, say it again. It's okay, it's okay to smile, smile through, through the, the journey. journey.